Yeah! Oh. Tell them what's up. What's up? Say, welcome back to another one. What about you and Bodie? That's right, Bodie said it. Check it out what we got going on today. Big day here at uh, Bobby Guy Films, Sand Hill Flyways, isn't it? We've been waiting on our container to show up and it's here. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Look at that. He's unloading it off the truck right now. How cool. Isn't that neat? Who forgot their shoes inside? Yeah, Bodie did. It's too hot for him to stand out here. It's 101 degrees. 101. Let's go find some shade, bub. This is a lot longer rig than I figured. Uh, I was worried that he was going to be able to turn around back here. Uh, all of you that are new to the channel and haven't seen the updates to the lodge, here is uh, where the container is going to go. We're going to slide it right in here. Right in here on the right side up against the new, yes, water spigot. This will be where we clean birds every single day. Process birds, clean birds, rotate decoys in and out of the uh, brand new 40 foot containers. They're sweet. So cool, man. Been waiting. Uh, I bought this, this container. Actually, I bought two of them and I've been waiting for, it's been two months. Every bit of two months. Everything's back ordered these days because of you know what. Well, we found a little bit of shade, didn't we, bub? Don't, uh, don't go out there. That's going to be real hot, bubba. Come back here. Uh, if you all are new to the channel, like I was saying, uh, this is my lodge. Uh, we do guided waterfowl hunts November through. Uh, man, we're running all the way through February this year, and I'm offering conservation hunts. Uh, conservation snow goose hunts uh in late february only everything's booking up pretty quickly i've had a lot of people ask and it's going really smooth a lot better than last year uh because we got beth and my wife and she runs the books uh she does a really good job helping out maintaining clients and emails and making sure everybody's happy sorry for the wind at least it's cooling it off a little bit you hot yet no Whoa, ho, ho. That's cool. Whoa, dude. Is that cool or what? Look at this operation. Woo. That easy. Nine foot six high, brand new. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to ask how much these cost. Uh, I had somewhat, somebody the other day say, hey, you mind asking how much that boat costs? And I'm like, well, uh, the price of stuff this year compared to last year the year before it's much different you pay so much more for stuff in general i'm telling you look at that so the room we're leaving right here will be for the second one that's cool dude wow see how big that thing is he's hot he don't care let's go babies oh the sun's went down it's a lot cooler now check it out Temperature dropped a good, I don't know how. It's cool out here now, isn't it, bud? Yeah! <laughs> he did a very good job. Check it out. Here she is in her hole. Looking Mom, good. Hey, Harper, hey, Harper and Mommy. You know what me and Papa saw? We saw deer prints over here. Deer prints over there? Yep, there is. There's some deer prints over there. Well, oh, check her out, Mom. Look at that brand new nice door. Look how, yeah, it's huge, isn't it? It's massive. Hold on a minute, let's see if we can open these doors. Oh yeah, we'll get some light in there. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Look at all this room, nine and a half foot tall. Yeah, yeah, yep. We can park the side-by-sides in here. Yeah, all the decoys are gonna go in here. Uh-huh. Whoa! It's huge, isn't it? It is very awesome. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's huge. It's massive. It is massive. Look at Jax, he's like, hey, this might be my new home. I think it's real cool. 
So we're just gonna clean our birds right out here by the old spigot. Boom! Yeah. Actually, we'll be able to clean our birds inside here on a table. Yes. You're not like really amused or sort of amused? Oh, I mean, it's not my favorite thing. It's not your favorite thing? We'll actually have, we'll have our shot back because all of the stuff will come back in here. Yeah. Woo, it's bright out. It's the next morning. And uh, I actually wasn't going to show you guys this. I was going to hold it until I was ready to mount it. Now, little information about this. Uh, first off, I want to give a massive, massive, massive shout out and thank you to Marcus Schofield. Thank you, Marcus. Um, he hit me up. When was it? It was... Um, Man, it was two, three weeks ago, about a month. And he said, Bob, I have a bird that I know you want. And I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, I've shot a few of them in my day. I already have one mounted. Do you want it? He sent me a picture. My jaw hit the floor. And I go, seriously, dude, you're going to give me that thing? He goes, yeah, man, I already have a couple of them. Do you want one? I said, absolutely. Uh, make sure you write out a gift tag uh, when you give it to me. So what he did, he is from, uh, man, he's Illinois or something. Marcus, you got to drop a comment down below and tell us all where you're from. Uh, so he sent it in this. <laughs> he went and bought a brand new little cooler and everything. Sent it in there. Packed it in dry ice. Awesome. Check it out. Now. Rare stuck in the world, absolutely. Here in Kansas, I've only seen one of these. I'm sure you guys know what it is now, right? Been wanting to show you guys for a while. I didn't know how I was actually going to show you guys. Oh, there she is right there, boys. Look how little, just a little guy. <laughs> so one thing, uh, just a little information. If you ever give anybody a non-processed bird, make sure you give them a gift tag that states where the bird's from, when it was shot, by who, uh, what date, everything. The county, look at this. Man, he needs to go to the taxidermist. Oh, uh, Kurt Dog, you know old Kurt Dog, the, old, the older fella that uh, does all my taxidermy? He is going to do this bird. And I've... I'm probably going to go drop it off to him, so I wanted to show you guys the bird. Look at that. Cinnamon teal. And a beauty, too. Uh, I had my buddy Brad from Ducks. He looked at it. Just That's some ice on it. I uh, looked at it. He was like, that's a younger bird, but what an absolute stud muffin, man. Look at its belly. Like, just red-brown color. Cinnamon teal are all red-colored like this. Again, it's a younger bird. You can tell on the back, all these this back plumage here. Uh, but I need to get him to Kurt. He's getting a little wet and icy. Really good shape though. Yeah, I, I can tell when the bird was shot, he would, did not get very tore up. So that is, uh, that's key. So there he is. Not a lot to show you guys except for, I got a cinnamon teal to mount. <laughs> I am so excited about it too. Um, she's gonna go up in the in the lodge and uh, find her a good home in there. When I sent the picture to Kurt, the taxidermist, old Kurt dog, he was like, oh my God, Bobby, where did you get that? You know, because again, rarest duck in the world, maybe not for some of you, but for me, absolutely. Now, don't get me wrong, Brant, King Eider, you know, they're pretty rare. And we're going to be headed up to Alaska here. We uh, drew the, the winner on the podcast, and it is soon to be announced. Hopefully, we will have that announced today uh, over at the podcast. If you haven't joined the podcast, you really ought to think about it. It's only 5 bucks a month. Uh, you, get a, you get a lot of insider information that goes on here uh, with me. I get to be myself. One of the biggest compliments that I've got from all you guys are uh, Bobby. You know what? It's refreshing over there. I don't think I'm going to leave. 
Uh, it's refreshing to see you just be yourself. Use the language that you want to. Talk about the things that I can't uh, on the YouTube channel. I can't over there. So check it out. It's a lot of fun over there. Me and old Preston, we always have a special guest on board and uh, we try to make it as juicy as possible. And we've been doing a lot of podcasts that you guys have wanted to hear about. Whether it's about my YouTube channel, whether it's about the guide service, whether it's about some drama or something, you know, we'll do about anything over there. But as for the container, look at that. I'm supposed to be having one more come. And as of right now, the price of this thing, let's talk about that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are, were, are, are, are curious the price of this container. Now, first off, a little disclaimer, this container is a one trip use, basically brand new, not beat, beaten and battered, absolutely gorgeous container, right? I mean, they installed the side door. Like I uh, said earlier in the video, everything is almost twice as expensive this year compared to other years. That container was $8,000. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wonder if it wasn't worth just putting up another shop. But what do you do? I got to do something. And I want it to be mobile. And I want it to be airtight. No mice can get in that thing. Eat up all my chairs and my decoys and my blinds. Had Got to do what you got to do, I guess. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. Uh, you know, the summer, we're getting to about July here. And I... I preach it every summer. After the 4th of July is when everybody starts getting duck hunting fever coming on back. So uh, I'm gonna start doing some hunt reviews. I have quite a few hunts in the vault that you guys have not seen. And basically it's just uh, all the big camera footage that Preston shot that we never used on a bunch of different hunts. So I'm gonna be bringing back unseen hunt footage that you guys don't wanna miss uh, we'll probably start that maybe next week. So, but thank y'all for being here. Hit that notification bell on there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. Make sure to grab something from Ducks if you like it. The new June t-shirt of the month, American flag on the back. It is sweet, but until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism.